Hi, it's Kirk from the Forever Homestead. So today we are actually finally starting the shipping container barn, uh, the agricultural building. Uh, we're going to use this Costco can here and then Tex behind us here. Uh, they're both 40 foot shipping containers uh, and they're the extra high, so they're nine and a half feet tall. Um, I've got the uh, the excavators coming in uh, where the barn dimensions are going to be 40 feet by 46 feet so it's going to be the two shipping containers on the ends and then a 30 foot space in between so uh, this area here the excavator is coming to clear uh, clear and level this so I'm going to take that tree down because we're going to try to mill it and use it for something um, but uh, I got to do a little bit of cleanup here um, and then he'll be ready to do his thing. And we're also uh, finishing up with the pump house uh, pit today as well. He's gonna push all the rest of that sand or get all the rest of the sand back in around that well. The excavator just left. Um, he's cleared a 50 by 50 foot pad uh, and leveled it. It's uh, it's uh, within pretty much within half an inch. And once I do the uh, the footings and the gravel, that'll um, get it back, or that'll make it uh, perfectly level. So we took uh, a lot of the um, the top. I'd call it topsoil, but it's it's more sand than soil, but. Um, a lot of stuff that had the roots and the organic material in it, so uh, we don't have to worry about anything as far as that rotting and settling underneath it. Um, so, now the next step is I've got to uh, make up the uh, footings, or the pads, sorry, uh, form them all out, uh, and then we can get concrete. So hopefully, if everything goes well, uh, it's going to be kind of a crappy week this week, but if everything goes well, uh, Maybe by, uh, maybe by uh, the end of next week I should have all the forms up and then we can uh, start thinking about ordering some concrete and um, we're really kind of rushing, pushing weather. Although it's hard to tell today, it's like 17 degrees. But for now, we'll uh, check in with you later.